Creating multiple worlds in BuildBox is easy, and there are two main ways to go about it. The first option is to use the Creator, which we covered in a previous video. To do this, simply navigate to File, and then choose New, and create a new game with multiple worlds. You can also manually add worlds to an existing game quite easily. To do this, select the Menu Editor, and then right-click on the background, and choose Add New World. A new Game World node will pop up. You can single-click the world to edit the world settings on the right-hand side. And as we've shown before, you can also double-click the world node to jump in and edit the world content, the, the levels for this world. You'll notice each world has two ports on the node. The load port is an input port. You need to route users to the worlds from a UI node, like the main menu or even start menu. The UI port is where you'll link a UI node that overlays the game world. You can use an existing world UI or create a new one. So if I wanted the UI for this new world to be the same as the previous world I had created, I could also link it to the game field UI that I already have. Unless you want your world to be endless, you'll need to use a logic piece that detects when the world is complete. You do this by assigning a UI to the world and then double-clicking that UI. So because I've already linked this world to the existing game field UI, I'll just jump into this one. Now, under the logic category on the left-hand side, grab the event observer and drop it into the menu area. This is an invisible logic piece and it will not show in your game. Let's choose to take the character to a game over screen when the character is defeated. To do this, select the event observer and then choose the event type, which in this case I want to be game over. You could choose other options if you wish, like ending the game when a certain score is reached and so on. And now we'll change the name of the event observer to game over. So we know what this event observer is doing. Now let's exit back to the main menu editor and you'll see a new port created on our game field UI called Game Over. This is where the user will be directed after a game over is reached. You can assign the character to a new or existing UI screen that you created, such as Main Menu or World Select. So in my case, I'd probably like to create a new Game Over UI, and then assign this Game Over port to connect the user to that new screen. For more information on the Event Observer, check out the Event Observer video. Thanks for watching.